Hey guys, so today season four has been announced. They released kind of a teaser trailer. We'll dive into that and kind of see what new weapons are being added. I hopefully maybe we'll see a little bit of the new map, but it's going to be hard to beat season three. Season three was a phenomenal Tokyo theme map and the battle pass was really good, but let's let's dive into it. So season four, the finals is hurtling toward us where I think we're like maybe a week out. But first, we need to say goodbye to season three. The season will introduce a gorgeous new map and start the world tour along with new Ruby rank. So really excited about that in the Emerald badge. However, we know that switch to terminal attack as rank mode was a misstep, but this misstep comes with learnings. And while we believe in TA and saw many of you playing and enjoying it, it's just not quite the right fit for rank play or the core of the finals. The finals team has been listening to their player base. I think they've been doing really well. I really hope this game keeps flourishing. I hope that the player base can grows. Uh, but thanks to the feedback from all of you, we hope that season four will feel like homecoming with rank cash out taking the spotlight and new elements that harken back to the original intentions of the finals. Without further ado, here are some of the things we've been working on in season four, starting on September 26th. So rank cash out, new season content, looks like map. Uh, we'll zoom in a little bit to look at the some of the skins, new weapons, and then they do some sponsor stuff. They did uh, improved tutorial for newcomers and then new enhanced world tour. I think this is going to be good for newcomers kind of getting a better feel for the game. Uh, the learning curve can hit you pretty hard, I think, in some cases, but it's also an FPS game. If you play an FPS game, it's not going to be any different. But ranked tournaments are back better than ever. Season four welcomes back the heart and soul of the finals, the world's largest game show, the greatest tournament, ranked cash out. It's all within your reach. So get ready to hunt for your vaults, defend the cash out, revive your teammates, and coin back and again and again. And thanks to all the time we had in season three to test the waters. We've created a cash out experience we're proud of re reintroducing as a core ranked mode. We're thrilled to see many contestants enrolled in the World Tour this season. You can expect the tour stops to continue into season four as completely separate experience from ranked tournaments cool throughout the season you can expect new and exciting elements that change up the game from time to time and allow you to progress your badge sweet finally the terminal attack fans don't worry you'll still be able to play and climb the leaderboards with quick play menu also i think the the xp that they've been adding here and there has been great where if you have a stack of three you get like i think 10 percent. if it's just you and a friend it's like five percent i think that's been Really, really cool. So the season sponsored by, so where would the finals be without sponsors to keep us going? In the next chapter, the finals, all contestants will have the opportunity to sign up, represent one of three generous sponsors for season four. Your pick of the season will determine your rewards and earn you and your sponsor fans. This is gonna be kind of interesting. I'll be curious to see if one sponsor ends up being love while the other ones don't get as much love, but most likely that's gonna happen, but let's see. Uh, Holoto, uh, digitally insured, virtual secured, Thanks to Alto CEO, uh, virtually any virtual asset can be insured against damage or loss, except stolen cash outs, of course. Then we have Ingimo. I, I probably not even pronounce these right, but I don't really care. Beyond boundaries within reach. Uh, owing to the Ingimo CEO, you have access to unparalleled connectivity and speed and communications, allowing you to connect to anyone, anywhere in the meta space or virtual world. And then we have uh, Isult, you or T, you can be anybody, you can be everybody. Uh, the CEO encourages you to transcend the physical limitations of the meta space with style. Who will you sign with? Will the stylish players be branded? Will you achieve swift success under the banner? Or will your consistency in the arena better befit that group you sign with? Choose wisely because you can only pick once. I'll be curious if this is season specific or this will continue into next season. I'm assuming this might be just a season specific kind of thing. Uh, that would be kind of crappy, I feel like, if if they kind of continue this and your choice is perma stuck and like you would, I mean, I, they do really good sharing the love, but I feel like there's gonna be some, I don't know, some skins out there that people are like, oh man, I should have picked the other one. But once you've chosen your sponsor, duke it out in the Fortune Stadium, the new map that features a uh, sector dedicated to each generous sponsor. Slide through the halls of Halto, browse the aisles of Asul, and check to make sure the lights are on at Ignamo Complex. Stay tuned for future reveals of the stacked battle pass, a new set of circuits to feed your career, new weapons, 
alternate sites. Ooh, alternative sites. We've been talking about this. We have been talking about this. Ah, uh, maybe we'll get some red dots and cosmetic features such as additional faces, facial hair, and much more. We've been working on a new tutorial on first time player experience to help onboard new contestants. And we have major upgrades to our engine for next season enhancement, performance, optimization for the game. Let's dive into the video. Okay, so let's slow it down and let's see if we can maybe capture some of what we think. So this is the new map, it looks like. So this is kind of what I talked about earlier with some sectors that they're adding. Um, not a new gun there. Back that up just a smidge. Okay, so it looks like some zip lines, some high up tall buildings a little bit. Bring back the cash out for ranked. Here's the, so... Uh, so right here, you can see the new dualies. Love that. It's a new weapon coming in. More of the new map. And then here's some new skins. And okay, so we got the heavy, the medium, and the light. Some really freakishly cool looking skins. Not gonna lie. I mean, the this kind of reminds me of a little bit of uh, Siege. Um, the operator with the, the overhead. Um, some Tom Clancy stuff going on here, but we got some dualies. We got, it looks like almost like another AR for the medium, maybe, or like an SBR. Mm. And then the light looks to have a new shotgun coming down the line. So I think the three new guns look to be, which I thought the dualies looked to be for the medium, but according to this image, it looks like it's gonna be a heavy specific kind of weapon, but I'm kind of down and <laughs> The shoddy for the light to have another one. Oh my. <laughs> Woo. And then let's see here. Oh, 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 we got, let's see here. I think we saw it for a split second right there. Uh, you saw it. We saw the medium uh, running with the new AR, which looks to have almost like an ACOG on it. So another weapon with a sight. I'm down. I, I prefer the sights. The irons in this game are okay, but I'd rather have a sight. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we got another image. Um, looks like just more skins specific to, I think the sponsors. I'm not seeing, yeah, I think this is just sponsor specific. Let's see if they show any other sponsor stuff. Uh, did I miss? I saw the flashing. So much flashing. So much flashing. So much to capture. I think that stuff is nothing to write home about. We have here on the left. It looks to be the light's new shotgun, uh, the medium's new AR there. Uh, I'm not seeing new abilities. And then here is uh, another sponsor's deal. Um, and then here's the heavy. It looks to be going ham with some doulets. Um, let's see here. New gun still. Zooming in, zooming in. Some skins. Yeah, look at the eyes. Ooh, the mustache. Uh, some shades, some more eyes. And I think that is it with the final yellow eye staring into your soul, if you have one. I mean, I don't, but you know, it's just part of being a redhead, right? So, but I mean, these skins look great. Uh, I'm excited for the new weapons. We got three new weapons at least so far, if not more. I can't wait to see what else they got bringing. I'm assuming they're gonna dive into more of the abilities because they, I think they, yeah, I think they mentioned abilities coming down the line. So, oh, you know what? Let's zoom into this photo. See if we could get a better idea. Okay, so we got just some skins. A cowboy. Um, That's the new weapon up here. New watch. That's an, that looks, yeah, that's a new skin as well. Let's see here. That's a new weapon. That looks to also be a new weapon. I can't tell if that's just the skin and it's the same weapon. I don't, I think they're separate. I think they're separate, but I could be wrong. But yeah, looks like we got a photo of some of the new skins coming down the line and a couple maybe photos in here of some new weapons up here at the top. But this season's coming to be looking something really cool. I'm excited, I'm excited. And so hope to catch you guys in the finals. I can keep you guys posted when they release more content. So you guys have a good one. Stay fresh out there. On behalf of our sponsors, thanks for tuning in. And that's a wrap.